Speed is the most important thing, speed and power. My name's Johnny Goodenough Egan. I'm also known as Johnny Turbo because I turbo all of my motorbikes. I am an adrenaline junkie and speed is what does it for me. I decided to uh, turbo my first bike because I wanted to have the fastest bike on the south coast. Uh, I custom everything I, I get. I stick uh, turbos on them and nitrous and uh, I really want to get as much power as I can out of them. Turbocharging doesn't go down very well with the purists because obviously I'm mucking about with the holy grail of motorcycles. I need to stand out in the crowd. Um, I think there's enough originals out there and I don't want to be just another number. I want to be someone different. The latest project is a twin turbo Honda CBX. So it's a straight six cylinder motorbike with twin turbos going into twin intercoolers. Um, never been done before. Um, and uh, the reason why I'm doing it is because uh, it's fun and it's going to be very quick. I started uh, turboing and modding bikes myself uh, years ago, uh, but now the bikes are getting a bit more extreme. Um, I've got my friend Scott that helps me out with the spanner work, and of course I've help from uh, Reed Performance, who are great fabricators, and they're able to work miracles. Uh, my motorbikes do go wrong. Um, occasionally they do blow up. And when I say blow up, they do blow up. They like detonate. Um, I was uh, driving uh, quite quickly one day and uh, uh, it detonated and I was bathed in some hot oil. Turns out the Conrod has uh, made a bid for freedom, uh, come out through the crankcase. And of course, uh, along with about uh, five and a half liters of uh, black oil. Crashing a bike is not like crashing a car. You have to think of it as you're standing on top of a car roof going down the motorway. And what you're about to do is you're going to dive off that car and you're going to hit the tarmac. One of my spills, I don't have very many spills, but one of my spills was in the foothills of the Alps. And uh, I just overcooked it going into a corner and it was one of these switchback things because I was going up the, up the mountain and uh, as I was approaching the, um, the corner I thought oh, God, I'm not going to make this. I ended up sliding to the abyss. Uh, thankfully the Armco barrier stopped me and the bike going over um, but as I was laying on the tarmac checking if everything worked I was conscious of a line of traffic coming down the mountain one of the uh, people in the queue was a farmer who said no matter what's wrong with your motorbike i can fix it he said uh, we'll lift it onto my trailer and we'll go home so um, the line of traffic snaked down to the bottom of the valley where his farm was uh, he was busy in his workshop welding my crankcase for me whilst i was uh, eating his dinner that his his wife prepared for him and i thought well that's a result. I'm going to continue in the vein of uh, turbocharging and customising fast bikes. Um, I'm not, however, going to go down the, uh, the tried and tested route of uh, people of a certain age that gravitate towards cruisers. That's not me, never will be me. I'm a fast freak. <laughs> <laughs>